There is something in the water that has been worrying engineers and scientists for decades. It is a specific breed of fish that is not native to Tennessee waterways, but it's becoming a really big problem. News Channel 5's Chris Davis takes an in-depth look at what a government agency is hoping to do to stop them. You would think a robust fish population would be music to this biologist's ears. These fish are invasive and they compete for food and water, space and habitat with the native fishes. But not when they do this. You can actually see the invasive carp jump when you motor your boat by. They're triggered by the, the sound that's emitted in the water by the, the motor and they'll jump and they can actually be dangerous and jump inside the boat. Also previously known as Asian carp, this invasive carp species were accidentally released into the Mississippi River decades ago and continue to migrate upstream. They do not have any natural uh, predators. They grow really fast and they can reproduce at alarming rates. They're already a big problem in Lake Barkley. So that's where they're most prevalent because they're coming out of the, the Mississippi, so that western Tennessee, that western Kentucky area, and then they move upstream to Nashville. The beauty of navigational locks at dams means that boat travel and barges can go from lake to lake. The problem can be when you have an invasive species like invasive carp, they can do the same. While the door is open, while the barges are locking through, it's an opportunity for, for the fish to also transport. Which is why the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is launching a pilot program to study different deterrent methods they can set up in or near locks themselves. It's a logical place for us to put bar barriers because it's where we can control it. So that the invasive carp can't keep hitching a free ride. We can fill this lock chamber with uh, CO2 and they do not like that. The Corps' ideas range from making the lock chamber water bubble up to scare them away to setting up what's called a bioacoustic fish fence. Sound, air, and light, there's actually a, a speaker on the river bottom inside of the lock chamber, and that speaker produces sound, which the carp do not like. Another barrier would be an electronic barrier. It wouldn't kill the fish, but it, they don't like to pass through the electronic signals, so that would also deter them. The Corps will then pick up to 10 projects at a few of these dams on the Tennessee and Cumberland River systems. Whichever method proves to be the most effective against the invasive carp and harmless to the native fish could become the standard. So we'd like to eradicate them as soon as possible. All in the hopes that a truly robust fish population can thrive once again. So the worry is that they will continue to uh, spawn and grow and, and flourish um, in the Cumberland and Tennessee rivers, so we'd like to stop that as soon as possible. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Thanks, Chris. Now, before the pilot program can even begin, the Army Corps of Engineers, they want feedback from the community, specifically about the environmental impact of this plan. If you want more information on how you can weigh in, just head to our website.